Behold, the almighty garbage eliminating machine, Gem. But who's behind the creation of such an infamous machine? We've got the brain, John Volpatti. We've got the brawn, me. And finally, we've got the beauty, Scott Stunning Fraser. Hey, John. Hey. Nice Rube. Thanks. Wanna walk us through it? Sure. This is our Rube Goldberg device, Gem. As the marble starts to go down these series of inclines, gravitational potential energy gets converted into kinetic, and it goes down in this tube, hits the amplification device's button. As the amp releases oscillations with sound energy, it causes this paper to vibrate, thus moving the car down the incline. It hits the scissors, which cuts the rope, and as the rope gets cut, this ball will fall down on this button, releasing this car into these dominoes, which will go down a series of kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. It will then hit this maple syrup. As the maple syrup pours into this cup, this can will rise, and our programmed circuit will cause this sensor to activate and this motor to turn. As this motor experiences rotational kinetic energy, this dominoes begin to get hit, and they begin to experience kinetic energy, causing this duct tape to real roll down the incline, hitting these dominoes, fly, finally hitting down this uh, wood with weight at the end of it. As its mechanical energy becomes kinetic energy, it swings down and crushes the can, which will experience elastic energy, thus allowing it to fall through a smaller hole. Yep. Kareem Balls. No opponent is even close to being at his level of ball. But like all Olympic athletes, Kareem needs to cool off with a nice cold soda. Little does Kareem know that he could be spending twice the time it takes him to throw out the can by crushing and recycling it with gem. Kareem, what are you doing? I'm throwing in the garbage, John. Nah, B, you gotta use gem. What does gem do? Gem crushes and recycles your can. No way. Yeah, way. <laughs> All you gotta do for gem is put your can right there, push a marble down an incline, and watch the magic unfold. So what are you waiting for, dummy? For only $580, gem can be all yours. Buy gem. You won't be sorry. Gem. Crushes wallets, crushes cans. Take 23. Inertia is a property of matter. Bill, 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 bill. In this trial, the car did not move down the incline because the music from the amp was not loud enough so the paper would not vibrate enough to move the car. To change this, we increased the volume on the amp. In this trial, at the end, the steel block holding up the weight was not fixed to the table, so as it fell, it obstructed the path of the weight and it could not crush the can. To fix this, we taped the steel block onto the table. Take three. In this trial, at the end, the can did not fall through the hole into the bin again because the hole that the can was meant to fall through was too small. 
So, we made the hole bigger so that the can could fall through. The old take 13. Lucky if you're an Italian. In this attempt, there was not enough maple syrup to increase the mass of the cup so that it could raise the other can so that it was 250 baht away from the sensor, which is what it is programmed to do. Give it a sec. To fix this, we added more maple syrup to the bottle so that it could raise the can higher up. Go. In this trial, the amp did not turn on because when the ball I fell down the tube, it did not hit the button to turn it on. To fix this, we altered the placement of the end of the tube. One. For this failed trial, the ball was not dropped because the tape at the end of the string was not cut. To 16, fix this, we made the tension on the tape tighter so that it could be more easily cut. We did this by sticking it further back. Try 17. Wow, these are adding up. In this attempt, Almost the cup was again not lowered time. enough to raise the can on the opposite side. This was because a lot of the syrup was poured behind the cup. To fix this, we adjusted the positioning of the cup by moving it up. Don't do it.